this <laughs> first harvest of mine by myself is starting to get worse and worse and worse. Well, not even first harvest, full, full first year by myself. Planning sucked, harvest is sucking. The only thing that went good is spring, but. No, I, yeah, just a pain, that's for sure. Got the corn head put on. Titans came out and put uh, new br mounting brackets on, or locking brackets, whatever you want to call them on. Got those put on. Everything's readjusted, so should be good to go to go out and do a little bit of corn this afternoon tonight. It's about 2:40 right now, so probably just open up the field. Get probably at least fill the green card up and then start early right away in the morning just to try and get as much done as we can. Alrighty, after a lot longer than anticipated to get fuel and def and put the bottom stock stompers on, we're heading out. Kyle said he might be able to drive the green card out there for me. He doesn't know, so I'm gonna just head out there to see what happens with that otherwise I'm gonna have to get a couple rides back and forth not the end of the world I was also gonna say uh, any other farmers out there do you start out listening to country music and then go to uh, like other genres that you shouldn't be listening to while combining corn like heavier or older rock then newer rock and then I end up on rap somehow and then about an hour after that I'm back to country and it just the cycle revert or uh, goes all the way around oh, multiple times throughout the day I was just thinking about that today how that happens but if you're the same way, let me know down in the comments just because it seems kind of weird to me doing that. But Well, I think I'm going to call it once I get full here. I'm at 75% uh, full, so yeah, I'm going to call it for tonight. This last load that I got on now should be enough to fill the grain cart. So got trucks, going to head, head to the elevator right in the morning. I, for some reason, I completely forgot to tell them to go today just to unload them, but I did. That's completely my fault, but no, they're going to bring the loads in right away in the morning. I'll probably come out here early and as soon as they leave for the elevator, come out here and uh, get everything started and I'm going to unload the tank so then I can shut it down and then when I get out in the morning probably get loaded again. That way we don't have to wait for that. Hopefully we can get a lot of acres knocked out tomorrow. That'd be, that'd be really nice. Just with the weather moving in we got a chance of rain Thursday, Friday and then Saturday chance of snow. that we start sinking in we might as well keep going Got some 
some weather moving in again, but this has some pretty good lightning in it. Uh, probably five minutes. Probably, I think it was two lightning strikes hit the ground and the sky is kind of lit up every once in a while. Well, of course, rain came. We got one truck stuck. It's just came down super fast. We had a truck in the field that was loaded and it's just pure grease. So I'm just trying to make it up to the end. And then I told them just to stop and wait. Don't make a big mess out of everything. But yeah, I it had to start raining gives everything was going really well and didn't get the truck out in time. Ooh, I'm I'm sliding a lot too. But no, hopefully we can get that truck out and hopefully it stops raining here soon. Well Nick called me out of breath and said you gotta get out of here quick and I thought there was an emergency but Turns out this uh, thunderstorm that just came through out of nowhere um, was enough to turn this field to pure mud. So that truck there is stuck, will not move. There's just a little low spot there. Um, looks like the ruts are a good six inches deep. But uh, anyway, um, they're on their way back to the farm, gonna grab a uh, tow strap or whatever chain tow strap I'm not sure and the uh, 110 loader which that thing hasn't been run in months but anyway it's gonna bring that thing back out here and um, get this truck out of the field before it gets even worse now they're saying that these thunderstorms could back build pretty much all afternoon again it's like I feel like just talking on repeat here for the last three four weeks but it's just rain when we don't want rain and it happens again and again and again so
I thought that was funny. That's what you call a leg breaker. Got rehooked now. Trying to make it that way. out pretty good and it is raining again great this approach is not good either. I think it's too narrow. Boy, did that escalate quickly. Jeez. I... I... Uh, yeah, that truck was sitting in the field. That's our third truck. It's got terrible tires on it. I didn't even think to have him get that out of the field right away because it, it'll only rain five minutes and it wasn't like it was downpouring. It was raining good. But yeah, I just didn't even think about it. Kevin called me, who was driving that truck, and he said, you want me to get it out of here? I said, yeah, you might as well. We're going to be done, and that truck was already loaded. He was just waiting to uh, one of the other truck drivers to get back to go to the elevator. He's never hauled anything into an elevator, so he had to do that. And, yeah, I'm so thankful that it went as easy as it did. But, oh, my God. <laughs> Never, we've never had to pull a truck out of a field that's gotten stuck, so you can put that on the resume now, and just thankful it went really good. Nothing got broken. The truck was just kind of hung up. Well, it just needed a little momentum to get going, and then it was fine. And Kevin has never uh, been in any of our fields with a semi, so he didn't, he got into that dip, and uh, he had to slow down because he hasn't taken any of the field approaches out in the semi, so he didn't know how it was going to uh, act when it hit the field approach. He slowed down and, yeah, I got into a little bit of a low spot and just got hung up right there. But, no, as soon as we got the truck out, it started raining again. So, very thankful that that worked out. I couldn't get the... Uh, hopper closed so because there is a little bit too much corn left in it it's still raining now it's raining good so i had to dump a, dump a pretty good pile on the ground I, uh, one of mine kyle's mutual friends uh collects it and feeds a bunch of pheasants in the winter so he had the mother load on that <laughs> I don't know if he's going to have enough room for all of it, but got, got that all shut up and the grain cart I overfilled and I wasn't able to get the tarp on right away, so that's going to be fun to see how much that bridge is up. 
but you know, I'm just thankful everyone was able to get out of the field. I still got to get the combine out, but that should be no issue. So, yeah. Mm. Weather, <laughs> terrible. Uh, made it out and going down the county line now, but yeah, right before the rain came down, lightning, there's four or five of them, and that, I am not a fan of lightning to begin with, and then when it's right over top of your head to coming straight down, ugh, not a fan of that at all. I've had too many <laughs> close encounters, and just rather not mess with it, and then rain came about 10, 15 minutes after that, five minutes into the rain, truck driver called, do you want me to get this out of there? Yeah, you, know, you might as well. We'll have to be done for a little while anyway, and yeah, hung up, but hopefully, uh, yeah, it'll probably be next week. Well, bad weather for all of this week into uh, Sunday. And this weekend is supposed to snow. So, it's, yeah. Might have to recruit some help again, sadly. Well, anybody know how to get this off while you're going down the road on a 8250? Better usage low. Yeah, I don't know what that exactly means. It only does it with the corn head. I don't know if... Even when I'm sitting and I just fold the hopper in, it does that, so I don't know if what's going on, what it's trying to tell me for that. But most of the time it goes on and off, on and off, the whole time I'm driving. So if I push OK or ignore, sometimes it gives me the ignore button. It lasts, yeah, lasts for about five minutes and then it comes right back on. It's very annoying when you have to spend 30 minutes driving down the road. Well, we're back at the shop now. Got everything put away. Left the 180 out because that doesn't have uh, uh, fenders on it, so it throws a bunch of mud on the wind windshield and side windows. So, figured I'd just leave that outside, let it get rained on, try and wash some of that off because. The way the weather's looking, we're going to have to use it again. I'm sure some will get stuck, but... No, the forecast is showing more rain coming in, so... Yeah, probably going to shut this up, turn the fans on, and... It's not supposed to get too cold tonight, but tomorrow it's supposed to be pretty bad. So probably going to have to turn the heater on, just to make sure nothing... Nothing got too wet and freezes up on it, but... It is what it is. Um, probably gonna close out the video there just because I don't know when we'll be back in the field at all. Uh, yeah. Probably not much gonna be going on here for the next few days. Probably just try and clean stuff up that needs to be. Uh, probably hook up to some tillage, but I don't know how much of that I'll film, so. If you liked today's video, like, subscribe. If you have something you need us to hear, leave us a comment down below. Other than that, thanks for watching and you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later.